Good morning from Turkey. <laughs> it's now uh, 8.30, I think. Um, been up since 6 a.m. Got a few hours of sleep. Well, I was up at 3 a.m. I was still up. It was difficult to go to sleep because because we're by the motorway and there's just cars going by all the time, even throughout the night. And we're also by a petrol station, so there's cars coming in to park. I'm going to get petrol. Look what's here. It's a pigeon. Uh, cage. No, you can see pigeon cage. You know, um, just don't think that birds in cages is a good mix. I don't know. Just that doesn't feel like doesn't make sense to me. Yesterday, I covered from Izmir to where I am now, I covered 750 kilometers. And now, we're going all the way to Sivas. So it's not bad for a first day of hitchhiking. 750 kilometers, not bad for a first day. I think beginner's luck at its full effect. So the, the sleeping bag, and the sleeping pad I've already have already come to use. Yeah, this is where we slept last night. In this shelter. Um, so yeah, it's actually not not too bad apart from the noise, apart from all the cars. So now we're back on the road. On a motorway, something you see very often is uh, either dead or injured animals. I've seen quite, I've seen a dead dog, dead cat, uh, injured dog. Right now, we're going into different towns to deliver the gifts that he's got at the back to children, which is nice. I'm really happy to be a part of that. Just stopped to get some some water, some fresh water over there. The air over here feels so nice and fresh, so clean. It's so quiet as well. You can hear birds. Feel very relaxed. Feels very good. We'll get to the fountain. Magic. Yeah. Apparently this water comes from Narnia because at one end but no no beginning. So So we just stopped now to get some breakfast. I'm buying some grapes and whatever else it's here. We'll go inside, hopefully they've got figs as well. So, I'm trying to pay, and where the till, I'm buying some grapes, some figs, some berries, blackberries, and he's not allowing me to pay. So, yesterday he must have checked my Instagram, and he found out um, that I'm vegan. So, no more questions about meatballs, which is good, which is good. So yesterday, he was telling everyone that I'm a YouTuber and a, a fitness coach. And today, he found out I'm vegeta oh, vegan. He's going around telling everyone I'm vegetarian. So, so yeah. 
So right now, I am having some uh, berries. <laughs> I'm having some berries for breakfast and some figs. And so we've been going into village to village to uh, deliver the gifts. We're now in a village and he's talking to the locals. So we've given away all the stuff that was in the back seats. It's empty now, there's nothing there. I didn't record much of it because obviously you don't want to have uh, your camera on people's faces while you're giving away stuff. Um, so I just recorded just a little a uh, tiny clip as it, of the girl walking away with a bike, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but other than that, I didn't have the camera out, only because it would not it would have not been fair, it would have not been cool. Uh, but now we're on our way to Sivas, and we should be there soon. <laughs> So now we just stopped at a restaurant, he's going to have something to eat, I'm sure it involves some um, some kind of meatballs, I'm not hungry, he's probably going to offer me something to eat, but I don't want to eat anything right now, even, you know, even if they do have vegan stuff, which I doubt it, but even if they do, I don't want to eat, but we're almost in Sivas now. So now we're at the restaurant. It's a very lovely restaurant. It's quite nice. Full of Turkish people. For what? He's ordered himself some uh, bull meatballs. And he says it's, very, it's a very important part of the Turkish culture. Uh, so yeah, I ordered some tea. We're gonna have that and then get on our way again. So we have just arrived in Sivas and we're gonna stop by a hot spring, which is exciting. I'm really looking forward to doing that. We're almost there. You need a ticket to get in the hot spring and he's just gonna pay for it like he's paying for for the both of us I think so, it's a little bit different from what I was expecting well it's completely different from what I was expecting um, I was expecting some natural hot spring but it is inside of a building and this is what it looks like. Now he showed me that the, that, that the water is clean. But that doesn't look clean to me, but there's lots of people here. And apparently it's very clean, it's very good. I don't know much about it yet, but I'm gonna go in. Um, hopefully it's clean, hopefully it's okay. That was actually alright, I needed a shower as well because we, obviously we slept outside so I, I didn't get to have a shower um, Apparently it's sulfur water, sulfur water It was okay, I enjoyed it We're parting ways very soon We're almost at the destination he's going to which is Sivas, which is more than halfway across Turkey which is, was very helpful for, for me and but the hotels in Sivas are a little bit over the my budget, what I wanted to spend. So I arranged for some couch surfing instead. I would have preferred to stay in a hotel for tonight because I need to. I want. I want to edit some videos. I want to charge my stuff, and I, I really need to rest. I haven't slept properly for the first three nights I've been here. 
Last night I couldn't sleep as well because we slept outside and there was just so much noise. So I arranged for some couch surfing instead and I'm excited for that because I've never done couch surfing before in my life. And I'm looking forward to it. I want to see how it goes. So for what, um, we go together for another 20 kilometers? Yeah. Another yeah, 20? 20. Yes, 23 kilometers. Yes, and then we go separate ways. Yeah. So we just picked up another hitchhiker, this time as a local one. He's coming in in a second, He's making his way here. It is a Turkish hitchhiker. Or not really, just someone asking for a ride. So we have arrived in Sivas and Fuat has taken me um, almost 1000 kilometers. I am staying here for the night, it's already 5 o'clock. Um, I'll stay here for the night, rest and then start again tomorrow. I'm more than halfway through now, so... Um, so now he's trying to help me find the address. But I could, I could have just messaged the guy and told him I was outside and he would have come and picked me up. But, no problem. Uh, Fuat's been very helpful. He's taken me a long way. Made it, made the trip effortless. Fuat is uh, running around looking for the place. He took my phone, I could have just messaged the guy and the guy would have come and got, uh, picked me up. Thank you so much. Bro. Oh, no problem. Thank you no so problem. Much. See you. Hadi canım, kendine bak. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Vejeteryan olduğu için et yemiyor. Thank you so much for everything, okay? Görüşürüz. Sen telefonunu... Ben sana benim acil bir durum olursa beni ararsın. Buradayım. Ben ben çaldırayım seni bir saniye Ramazan. 0 534 34 Where are you coming from now? Thank you. Take off my shoes. Yeah. This room. For you. Thank you. And this bed for you. This one. Yeah. Who else sleeps here? Yeah. Who else? Just me or? Just you. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the tea. Thank you so much. But hot, be careful. Thank you. So I'm here now with Ramazan in his kitchen. Hi. And uh, contacted him on couch surfing. And I asked him to stay for the night in Sivas. And now I'm going to have some dinner. It is very simple. Just lentils and some coconut mixed together. And... Yeah. So this morning, I woke up. Almost as ritual, the first thing I do is basically have a shit. I got up and I went to the toilet. This is the toilet. And first of all, it's like, it doesn't smell that bad. It still smells bad, but it doesn't smell that bad right now. But this morning, it really smelled bad. And so I got to the toilet. This. So I squat down to do my business and I do it and then I've realized shit there's no toilet paper so yeah that was an adventure <laughs> <laughs>